Question number 11, although is a very wonderful question, but unfortunately, our solution is matching with none of the options which is available, and we have solved it to the best of our knowledge. The question is something like this. These are two disks, and these disks are connected by a massless rod of length L, and even this part is of length L, this particular part. The whole thing is rolling in this way with an angular velocity omega and it is rolling without slipping. And apart from that, the radius of this thing is given as A and the radius of this thing is given to be 2A. Now we need to calculate all these things. Beforehand, if you see, since it is rolling without slipping, this omega is in this particular direction, it's going inward. So the velocity of the center of mass, if you concentrate here, the center of mass is going inward with a velocity omega times a, this center of mass. And you would see that, I would like to calculate first of all the angular velocity. The angular velocity of this itself would be the angular velocity of the center of mass. Now you would see, this length is L, and here, if you see this part, that's A, and this L is given to be root of 24A, so quite obviously this distance would be 5A. Now, if I concentrate on this particular part, this is the distance, which is R, this angle theta, and you could see that cos theta can be very easily written as L by this, so what we'll do is say, the angular velocity about this particular axis, let me call it as omega dash, omega dash would be omega A upon R, because the center of mass is moving in a circle in this way as this conical arrangement rotates. And the thing is we require to write the value of R, that's omega A by, this would be theta, L cos theta. Now let's write the value. L has been given as root 24A and cos theta here would be base by hypotenuse. So base is again root 24A and hypotenuse is 5A. So here this A would cancel with this and that comes out to be 5 omega by 24. While the option given is not matching and similarly if you proceed forward none of the option is given matching with our given solution. The next thing, if I try to write the angular momentum, then the angular momentum of the whole system would be something like this. You see, first of all, there is one omega and that would be this. Together with this, you see the whole arrangement moves in this way, so even there is 1 omega 1. Now here is 1 omega 1 and here is another omega. Let's try to calculate that particular value, the value of omega 1. Alright, to see that omega 1, this is at a distance L and the velocity here is A times omega which is given here. Now with respect to this axis you could see the velocity upon distance. So you could write that omega 1 would be A omega upon L. Now you should realize what do I mean by omega 1. The whole thing rotates in this way. So there would be an axis and just consider this velocity as the velocity rotates the axis is given this manner. Now one is omega 1, other is omega and if we try to calculate the angular momentum, we get L is I omega plus I1 omega 1 vector. Now let me expand it. I about this term for this would be m a square by 2 plus for this would be 4m into 2a square by 2 omega Plus, now let's go with I1. Now, I1, quite obviously, is along this particular direction we have to write. 
and you got to use the parallel axis shift like for this it is m a square by 4 plus m l square along this particular axis which is parallel to the diameter and the next one would be plus 4 m 2 a square by 4 plus 4 m the distance is 2 l square into of course we need to multiply by omega 1 vector. So this is the i vector this is i 1 vector multiplied by omega 1 vector the resultant of this would give the total angular momentum of the body. So as we have already said it is not matching however the given question is quite wonderful and this is the solution that we have to present to the best of our knowledge.